point. This shows crews hoisting that woman up to safety. She is expected to survive. We're working to learn more about what happened. Developing tonight, a U.S. Marshal is recovering him this morning in Fayette County. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Alex Whitler. That marshal was a Coweta County Sheriff's investigator who was trying to arrest the suspect when he opened fire. Law enforcement did shoot back. Fox 5's Rob DiRienzo is at Grady Memorial Hospital in Atlanta, where both the marshal and the suspect are tonight. Well, the good news is that Marshall is recovering with non-life-threatening injuries. The suspect, wanted on murder charges out of Pike County, is also recovering. He's now in custody. We didn't know what was going on. We heard a big boom, and um, my daughter came out and saw that there were a lot of people down that way. Neighbors say it was a startling start to an otherwise peaceful Sunday morning in the Shiloh Mobile Home Park in Peachtree Corners police cars and trying to find out, you know, what was going on. We saw like a lot of like movement, a lot of police cars, a lot of people like outside. The reason the U.S. Marshals were there was to arrest 19-year-old Antonio Mergado Jr. on a murder warrant. Investigators say he shot and killed a 19-year-old man in an apparent drug deal gone bad. One neighbor who didn't want to show her face on TV says she's never seen Morgado around there up until a few days ago. I saw him and he looked at me and I, like, I kind of like didn't like get a good like vibe from him. Deputies say the marshal who they have adding new safety and security measures for schools. There's a new visitor check-in program called Raptor. Here's how it works. Visitors will be sent to designated indoors, uh, to designated doors to be buzzed in. Visitors will then be run through a database to check and see if they're a sex offender. If the person comes back clean, they'll be allowed to enter school. The district is also planning to hire more armed resource officers before classes start. And right now, they're leaning on community members to report problems before they arise on campus. South Korea. What would be your principal argument against taking this step to perhaps decouple South Korea from the United States, the defense arrangements that have kept the peace on the peninsula all these years? This is very much playing into the hands of what North Korea has angled for all along. And so if the U.S. forces are no longer even there or no longer committed to defending uh, the Republic of Korea, uh, then this is the biggest invitation that can be given towards a 2.0 version of a full-scale uh, Korean War, uh, which was disastrous. And my own parents were children uh, in the midst of that war. And so, um, so the irony of this, and no two, you're talking about North Korea, they persistently and consistently break the international agreements or treaties of any kind that they have, and they do it very quickly and easily for their own gain, and they enter into it for their tactical gain. And so this is the pattern of North Korea. And so to trust that North Korea would abide by such a thing it, uh, it's North Korea's supposed commitment is not even worth the paper that it's put on.